Hello, it's me Ashley and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today guys, I've got an unboxing of this month's November Glossy Box. So yes, we are unboxing this month's Glossy Box. The box says that I have version number five. I don't know what that means because I don't know the difference of the products that are in there. We do get a little bit of variation, um, but yeah. Okay, so I haven't opened this yet, so I'm gonna unbox it now with you guys. So I'm assuming it's just a standard pink glossy box this month, which it is. There we are. <laughs> okay, so glossy box is a monthly beauty subscription box. Ta -da! <laughs> you can either subscribe just one month at a time where you'll pay £13.25 per box or you can get it on a 12 month subscription which is the one I have and it costs me just eleven seventy five per box. So it does work out usually that we get a bargain pretty much. So in here we always get five beauty products. Um, a beauty box, a beauty box, glossy box tends to be a bit more makeup heavy than the look fantastic which tends to be skincare heavy. However, you know, we do get a mix of different products. Okay, so I haven't unboxed a glossy box with you guys in a while, and I will be honest, I also haven't been impressed by glossy box in a while, to be honest, and I am thinking of dropping one or both of my beauty subscriptions at the minute. Glossy book box is looking to be the one that I probably would pass up on. So it's got this month and it's got the Christmas December box to impress me um, because if I don't then I may have to drop my subscription. Anyway, I don't even think I know the sneak peek or whatever it was for last month so I'm hoping, hoping it's going to be a good box, I'm hoping that they're going to win me over all over again because it's so fantastic to get like a really nice monthly treat, some nice surprises in there. So let's just see, let's just see, let's open it. So inside, I mean, it is always beautifully packaged, always. Um, we get um, the little leaflet that tells us about the products. And then inside our products are wrapped behind a lovely little bow and some tissue paper. So I'm gonna undo the bow and give you a quick little flash of the products, a little sneaky peek. La -la -la. Very quick. Okay, so let's take a little look at the booklet. So this is the Beauty Desires edition, it tells us on the front and the little write-up says This month we're all about embracing elegant, timeless beauty and our Beauty Desires glossy box is sure to give your chilly November days a sophisticated touch. Let us tempt you with soft, silk-like textures that caress your skin and irresistibly rich makeup must-haves that enhance your inner radiance. So it sounds like they're gonna have some nice things in here. Um, right, let's just do it. Let's go through the products one by one. Okay, so our first product this month is from e.l.f. And I do remember this actually now being the sneak peek. So it is a lovely little eyeshadow palette. Um, I do like the brand e.l.f. Um, so this is a bite size, a bite. Why can I say that? A bite size eyeshadow palette um, in the colours Very Bad. And the little write up on this says a little compact that'll give a big impact. This on the go eyeshadow quad features a combo of matte sh and shimmer shades that perfectly take you from day to night. Rich, highly blendable, and in gorgeous soft pink and berry red colours you're sure to make a statement whether it's minimalist or dramatic and this is worth four pounds. I knew this wasn't gonna be pricey. Um, so it looks like we get a very pale light shade, a darker light shade and then two metallic tones. It looks pretty, I like how travelable it kind of is. You can just chuck that in your makeup bag if you want to. Um, I suppose it means you can like add a bit of sparkle, a bit of drama to your makeup if you're going out to a party or something. It is that time of year. Um, I do like e.l.f. This is just a very little kind of small um, eyeshadow palette. It's only worth four pounds. I've seen these um, again on Amazon for about that price. Um, I've contemplated getting one before, not this exact one. Um, but the colours look pretty, I'll definitely give it a go. Like I say, I like the fact that it probably can just chuck in my makeup bag if I want to. Um, maybe I don't want eyeshadow in the morning, maybe I want to add it later in the day. Um, otherwise my eyeshadow does tend to stay put all day, so it's not really something I do need to be makeup bag sized. But hey ho! Okay, so our next product is from Commodity Paper. Okay, so yeah, it's from Commodity and the product is paper. Um, I don't know what this is, so let's just do a little read up. It says this molecular skin scent. 
okay a molecular skin scent um scent combines woody iso e super with touches of sweet amber for a lightweight and effortless glow that comes alive on skin part of commodities personal space collection paper is an intimate skin scent that embodies the concept of less is more and it's worth 13 pounds so is it a, like a perfume is there something about a glow it's got a little thing on the box so you can actually like a little qr code that you can scan okay i'm gonna open this it's interesting and it looks like yeah it's just a little little fragrance bottle and it's a spray so it said i'm not making your skin glow a sweet amber for a lightweight and effortless glow that comes alive on skin so i wonder if it's going to be shimmery i'm going to spray that on the back of my hand oh <laughs> completely spraying that the wrong way then still am where's it coming out of Ooh. Okay, my hand looks shiny, but it only looks shiny because I've sprayed so much on. Um, it's a fairly subtle scent, but it also smells a little bit, dare I say, alcoholy. So I don't think I'm going to be a big fan of that. It's a bit more subtle now than it was when I first sprayed it on. Maybe that's because I've sprayed too much. Um... There's maybe a slight glow about my hand, but like I say, it's probably just the amount of the product I put on. Um, 13 pounds. Product I've not heard of. Um, it's a deluxe mini. It's not a full size. Um, I don't particularly like the smell. <laughs> um, I'll see if anybody I know wants to give it a sniff and see what they think, but I don't think it's going to be one that I keep. Okay, so the next product in this month's box is from Avita Liberata. Not a brand I've heard of either. <laughs> okay, so what is this then? This is a Blur Luminosity Gold. So this illuminating face and body highlighter will add a shimmer to soft... Uh, add a shimmer so soft. Add a shimmer so soft to your skin. <laughs> That'll make it seem like it's glowing from within. Blur Luminosity Gold reflects light, creating an instant shine, brightening the skin, as well as hydrating and conditioning it, conditioning it too. This is worth £25. Um, it is a full-sized item. Okay, so if this isn't sealed, I'll give it a little test now because it's probably something that's quite interesting. Ooh, so this is it in the box. It's quite a big... Look how big the lid is. Um, okay, so let's just see. Does that just pull off the lid? Oh yeah, it just pulls off. Oh, and it's like a little pump. Okay. Okay, so it's very pale. I don't know if you can see that. It's a very kind of pale colour. So I'm just going to... Yeah, that's far too much. <laughs> but if you can see... Can you see with it? It, 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 it. trying to block me out can you see the glow it's very glowy i've put far too much on so it probably will be way more subtle <laughs> oh my goodness what am i going to do it's like everywhere i might have to wash my hands okay i've washed the um shimmer off my hands um that's a product i will use um, I can't attest to how good like it'll last or anything because obviously it's not something that I've used before but I think it's something that I would definitely get some use out of. Um, obviously I'm going to Disney soon to Florida and the weather I've checked and it looks like it's going to be quite nice so maybe it's the type of thing I could like rub all over my legs or something if I'm wearing shorts or whatever just make it look like I've been there a little while maybe who knows um, so yeah that's not a bad one. Okay, so the next item is a makeup sponge. This is from Karina, another brand I've not heard of. Um, so this is a beauty blender sponge. It's worth £8.50. And, and it says, because glossies are always in need of a blender. True, I use mine every day. Um, I tend to like the Real Techniques um, Wonder Complexion sponge, is it called? Um, yeah, I like that one. Okay, so where were we? We all use them most days, after all, I do. Um, in a gorgeous glossy box pink shade. 
and it is it's the exact glossy box pink shade um this beauty blender is perfect for applying your foundation concealer liquid brush bronzer highlight getting into hard to reach areas with ease it'll blend makeup to perfection so you can achieve that ultimate flawless finish so it sounds nice it sounds like it's a useful one again i don't know how well it'll be because i don't know the brand and i've never heard anything about it so hopefully it's going to be a nice little uh, blender i'll give it a try okay our next product is from human and kind again this is a brand i don't know an awful lot about i've had a product from them before in possibly a glossy box or it could have been a look fantastic it's probably glossy box if these have got them um it was a body moisturizer i think and it actually was a really really nice one so hopefully this will be nice too so what is it anyway <laughs> it is an elderflower hand scrub Ooh, i like elderflower and hand scrubs actually quite a nice thing for the winter i get a lot of dry hands and it just it's a moisturizing hand scrub with elderflower and raspberry okay let's see what the little uh, write-up says it says for super soft hands we have the answer yes they do um because this scrub gently cleanses your skin to leave your hands feeling better than ever dried raspberry seeds delicately yet effectively remove dead skin cells with shea butter and sunflower oil to ensure your hands feel hydrated and smooth it's a full-sized item it's 12 pounds and 85 pence at full retail price um so excellent i will actually use that i uh Ooh, that'll be nice god nice soft hands okay so that's actually the last item in the booklet but we do have an extra item in here um I got an email um, saying that this glossy box was going to be late and as we're an apology they were popping in an extra item so I was looking forward to seeing what that was but then it's this this is a antioxidant eye contour cream um, from feel free I've had this from glossy box before I'm actually using it at the minute as my eye cream <sighs> I haven't noticed a dramatic difference in using it there are some eye creams i've used previously where you can tell there's a difference when you use it i had an amazing one from avant really 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 loved that one um but this one it's moisturizing my eyes but it's not like doing anything amazing and i believe when we got this this was worth just one pounds and 99 pence so it's not a massive little freebie it's just an extra little item i appreciate the effort um i might pass this along to somebody see if they want to give it a try or i mean i could pop it in a giveaway or something i don't know but i'll i'll, I'll see who wants it Ooh. and as i was popping that away i've just noticed they've also put in an extra refreshers um bubble mint little chewing gum Okay, so let's do a little rundown of the products in this month's box. Oop. So we first we started off with the e.l.f. eyeshadow palette. Really nice. It's not going to break the bank with this one, but again, I only paid like, what, £12 for this box. Um, the fragrance from, uh, what is it, Commodity. Ah, not a big fan of. But then again, fragrances do need to grow on me, so who knows. <laughs> Let me know what you think if you've got this box or if you've tried it before, please. Um, we've got the... Uh, liquid highlighter uh, cream highlighter for face and body um, I look forward to using that I think that'll be nice it's a very kind of light subtle shimmery sheen I think it will be um, the hand scrub actually quite excited about the hand scrub um, I've had quite dry hands lately so I'm thinking if I can couple that with my this works hand cream that I love then my hands might be like in good condition okay and we had the makeup sponge again a makeup sponge is always something that comes in useful i can't attest how good it will be but you know it's not a bad thing to get and then we've got a little extra which again is nothing major it didn't blow me away and it's only worth one pounds and 99 but i appreciate the little extra nod to saying yeah you you will it again with this box <laughs> okay so overall it's not a bad box um I can use most of it most of it I will give away the fragrance thing I think and I will give away the um eye cream I think but other than that I'll use everything I think I'll take the um liquid highlighter to Florida with me I think that might be nice and I will definitely use a hand scrub eyeshadows I can always use I mean I've got more than enough but you know it's not bad 
Anyway guys, please drop me a comment and let me know what you think of this box because I'm always interested. I always tend to find everybody's opinions are a little bit different. So um, yeah, this isn't a bad box for me. It's not a bad box at all. It's probably preferred to some of the other ones I've had recently. But um, yeah, it's still not like an absolutely blow away box. They haven't got like big name brands in there. Um, I mean, I like Elf. Elf is a great brand. Um, they do one of my favourite primers. So yeah, it's not bad to have at all. But still. Anyway, yeah, drop me a comment. Let me know what you think of this box before I blab on too much. <laughs> if you've enjoyed the video, then please do me a favour and hit the like button and give me a huge thumbs up. That would be an absolutely fantastic favour to me. And if you have enjoyed, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. I do an unboxing of a glossy box and I look fantastic every month. Don't know how much longer that will last, but if not, I'll probably still be unboxing something because, you know, it's a nice to have a monthly treat. And, you know, I do various hauls, different bits and bobs. Take a look at my channel, you'll get the idea. Anyway, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you again very soon. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.